Hello everybody, Rick from Palm Performance, continuing our Nika Bronco videos on our 1979 Bronco. So as I open my door, my beautiful power step comes down, roll bar, of course, built and machined in house. And even the little stuff, you got to check it to make sure it's functional to get in. How does it fit? So coming in here, the beautiful part is, through the years, you know, put on some weight, still a ton of room in here. Your original 1979 Bronco was not built for creature comforts. This truck built for creature comforts. Heated seats, cooled seats, backup cameras, trailer brake will run your towing. All of your gauges are functional within this dash. We still did all the little stuff too. We kept the counts where it needs to be. Cup holders, cup holders. All of this extra work is because the floor of this truck is from the 2014 F-150. In the back seat where it sits, that's from the 79 Bronco. Our roll bar is in here and tucked up through our beautiful headliner. That roll bar is, of course, all done in-house. I use that saying a lot, but I'm real proud of what our team does and all of that. Why put a roll bar on a 79 Bronco? Well, it's a big old girl. She's running, at this point, 500-plus horsepower. That's safety for the people. So we love doing all that stuff in-house. Um, going through all these features up in here, let's start our Bronco and go over just how she looks. You kind of forget that you're in a 1979 Bronco. All the extra features in here, all of our radio controls, all of our gauges, all of our buttons, all of this is functional, just like it should be in your truck. All of our overhead lights, home link, visors, vanity lights. This dash had me built around our roll bar. The dash has been cut and brought back. Just like on Reverence, for all of you true, you know, fans been out here, rebuild all of our heater duct and vent system behind here because this dash on an F-150 is basically out to here. So when you eliminate all the stuff behind here, you still gotta fit your power pedals, your heater box, all of your heater vents, your steering column, your sector shaft, all of your ductwork, all the stuff that in a normal F-150 has this much room, once you cut this, once you truncate it all down, all that stuff in there needs to be built down. But our traction control comes on and off. All this stuff, hazards, radio, heater controls, it all turns on just like it would in a modern truck. And that's what we're really proud of on our builds is it's not just getting in a truck that can look old but isn't very reliable. Our builds are super reliable, have all the creature and comforts, and can go anywhere you want. Hop in this thing from Ohio, drive it to California and back. Won't be an issue. Thank you everyone for following along. We're going to head over into some of our upholstery interior work coming up. Anyone that hasn't seen this yet, our Nika Bronco will be out at SEMA this year as part of the 2021 Bell Tech booth. Stop out, check the truck out, say hi to us. Look forward to seeing everyone out there. Thank you very much.